Hello everybody, it's B-Rod the Torah. I'm going to bring you a video on, today on a console application. Um, to get to the console application, just go to File, New Project, and Console Application. Usually we do Windows Form application, but today we're going to bring it back down to the basics because on Twitter we've been talking to a bunch of new people, um, and I feel like this is just the best way to dip your feet into C-sharp and learn the basics first. Um, again, sorry about this video. It's not the best quality. I'm actually here in a hotel today for a track meet this weekend. Um, shout out to my boy Torn there in the back in the bed. We're rooming with him. Um, he's about to go 47 in the 400 today. Um, all right, let's get into the code here. So if we click start here, I'll just show you guys what I have. This is a calculator that will calculate the interest. Well, based on the interest, how many days it will take to get or how many years it will take to get what you want your desired balance to be. So as you can see here with a 0 .5, 0 0.05 interest rate and it, let's say your balance is at 6,700 and you want your balance to be at 7,000, 7, then it will take you 89.55 years to reach that. And I'll just show you guys how to, how to get the output. So when you pull up the program, it's gonna start off with just static void, mainstream args, and in between the in between the braces we have council dot right line and then if we tab I'm, I put these three tabs here um, backslash to use tab simple wealth forth forecast calculator here just for looks you guys don't have to put that but I just think it looks better so that's what these two lines are here for council dot right line just prints prints text and then in parentheses quotes is what it shows so as you can see here this is where the user will actually input what they need so console.write in parentheses you can say current savings account balance and I put the money sign here just to be before the number that you enter in just so it shows that it's dollars and then after you put in the input name then you have to declare what you want this to be so I made it a double variable and double variables are any number that in that could be a decimal point if you put integer then it won't be a decimal point and it can't convert over so I put double current equals double parse console dot read line and then I just just did that for the rest of the three outputs and I named my variables current interest and final and then I wrote an if then statement for if the current is less than the final, which that's what it would have to be for this calculator to make any sense to run the calculations. And then I declared another variable double time for the years. And here's the equation it takes for calculating it in general. So what you're going to want to do is put in parentheses the equation, whatever it is. So it's one divided by interest, our variable up here, whatever the user puts in times 100 because if they put 0 0.05 then you want to make it go over to 5% and then after you, that calculation it's going to times by the final this right here whatever the user inputs and divided by current minus 1 and that's the equation that will calculate the years that will take and then our time we want to round it off by 2 round it to 2 decimal points and this is what you need for that and then these green things that you see here if you put two slashes right here, then you can put in a comment. This isn't necessary in code. It will run without it. This is just for, for looks, and if other programmers um, are reading it, then they'll be able to understand what you're doing. So that's what that is there for. And then we put an else if statement for the current is greater than the final. Then it will give us this error message here, console.writeLine. But yeah, and then make sure you guys put this down here, console.readLine. If you don't put that there, then it's just going to close the program after you do your calculations. But yeah, that's a short video today, guys. Um, just want to post a simple one while I'm here at the hotel with the track meet. Um, that's our Thursday video for today. Please subscribe and let me know what you guys would like to see in future videos. Um, thank you.